Hey guys, so I thought I'd do a uh, video on my new daily driver. Uh, this is a 2012 Honda CRV EXL. Um, so it's kind of, it's one of the higher trim packages, if not the highest trim package. I think the only thing it does not have is infotainment, which it kind of does, kind of doesn't. We'll get to more about that when we get to the inside, but I've got everything opened up here. Well, with, it, with the exception of the fuel cap, but. Here's the motor, I think it's a uh, 2.4, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it's a four cylinder, but I mean, you really wouldn't know it. It's got a lot of power. Uh, you can see where I have to park. It's underneath kind of a tree and gets a bunch of leaves in here. But, let's see. I got this thing from a Ford dealership. It was a trade-in. I believe. Uh, just looking at the Carfax, seemed to be a local car for most of its life. And, uh, you know, it's in pretty good shape overall. Uh, there are a couple things about it. You know, they sold it as is, so, I mean, there's there's maybe a couple little issues, but nothing too bad. But uh, we'll go ahead and close the hood here. If I can get the latch. There we go. So... Um, like I said, it's 2012, had 150,594 miles, uh, whenever they listed it online, I went to go look at it, I test drove it 11 miles, so I had 150,605, that's what it had when I bought it, so, uh, it's got 150, I think 901, maybe 902 now, and I've had this thing for about a week, so, that's mainly just to commute to work, let's see, yeah, 150,900. Right on the money. But, uh, yeah. So, we'll go ahead and, actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and look at the interior of the car. I got some of my stuff in here. Uh, compartment where I keep all my napkins and paper towels and stuff. That's some stuff for the buses. Uh, I just put floor mats in here. I just got back from Menards. You could see where I live. I mean, there's the leaves in the hood and then, or under the hood and then, you know, mud and stuff. And I want to try and keep this one a little bit cleaner than the Ranger. So, uh, yeah, I had to, you know, put some floor mats down here, but, you know, there's my camera bag, one of my clipboards for one of my jobs, compartment down here for my keys, like bus keys and stuff like that. Um, go ahead in here to the back, all leather seats, the front seats are heated, um, dual, actually, yeah, let's go over this stuff up here, dual climate control. Um, getting ahead of myself, but dual climate control. So, you know, driver and passenger have the option to have different temperatures in here. That's kind of the infotainment a little bit. Um, I'll pull the keys back out and turn this on. The, this is the first year of the fourth gen CRV. The third gens, which we had a 2011, uh, but it was a base model. Third gens had an option for a giant screen right here. I'm guessing these did too, just the way this looks, but it kind of has infotainment right there anyway. So like the screen where you can show all your, you know, it's showing that my phone's connected and all this stuff. And it's got steering wheel controls for that and phone calls. It's not very good for phone calls because the microphone, wherever it's at in this car, is not very good. Um, the mirror kind of sees a little crusty for some reason. Looks a little crusty. It doesn't feel it like it's up underneath the glass or something. This side doesn't work. This side does. So, um, like I said, you know, I bought it as is, so I knew what I was getting myself into. But it was a. It started as its life out as an Ohio car, and then it was a West Virginia car because it has the inspection sticker over here. And there's my little bus. I have to put in here. I have to have something something bus related. But it's got an econ mode, which I'm not sure exactly what that is. But I haven't messed with it yet. Heated seats storage compartment here like I said storage there and storage there there's a lot of storage in this car uh, glove box that's my temporary registration insurance things like that um, armrest you know it's it's a nice car uh, everything is power also heated mirrors uh, so that's nice very nice going from a 1994 uh, Ford Ranger to a 2012 Honda CRV is a little bit of an experience uh, <laughs> but I needed something nice that I knew would last 
our CRV lasted for uh, 281,000 miles before I totaled it and it was still running strong. So anyways, I got some stuff kind of stored back here. I put the seat down because I don't really haul anybody. It's mainly just me, maybe one other person that's in the car at any given time. So I've got, you know, some jackets and some warm shirts and stuff like that in here. That's what's under the blanket here is just heavier coats because it's end of September. Soon enough, it's going to be October and uh, November's right around the corner and December. And, you know, it's getting cold already. It's starting to get cold. There's my tripod and there's my windshield scraper. But uh, a couple of bags just in case I need them, some hats because just in case uh, my jobs get annoyed of me wearing a bus rodeo hat and insist that I wear either a Cabell County hat or the hat of the company that I other company that I work for so we'll go ahead and close all the doors here I'm gonna take the keys actually very quiet I'll leave this door open just actually I'll do this automatic windows and power mirrors rain guards are nice too it's a very, very quiet car compared to the Ranger. Ranger wasn't even that loud, but you know, it's just. Go ahead and do a walk around here in the outside. It's a little bit dirty. You know, I've driven it for a week and a lot of gravel like this and at one of my jobs. Uh, and my driveway is also gravel and it's very dirty. I mean, muddy, you know, so that's why this tire looks like that. Um, this definitely does not have as much ground clearance as I thought it did. My driveway is pretty rough and I scraped it too many times, uh, still figuring out how to get it up and down the driveway correctly. I know how to get it up, but getting it down to the tough part right here on the CRV is how you open your fuel door. So, in case you ever need to know that information. But, uh, Really, my own, I only have a couple complaints with this car. Um, one, you can't really, there's no oil pressure gauge. So if I cycle through the gauges here, you know, you got your temperature gauge, uh, tachometer, speedometer, you got your, you know, show which gear you're in, uh, you got your fuel gauge. If you go through here, you know, it won't, it'll show your oil life, but it won't show you you know, your actual, you know, oil pressure or anything like that, which I wish it would, but, um, there's something else. I forgot what it was. Nah, it wasn't, an, it's not important. You know, it's nothing that's really too, you know, detrimental to the drivability of the car. It's just, you know, some things I would like to have on it. Um, but you know, it's, this is a lot nicer than my Ranger. It's a lot better of a daily than my Ranger. And I'm still keeping the Ranger because uh, I still need truck stuff mainly for those two. Uh, you know, if I need to go get a hood or something, which that one needs a hood. But if, so if I need to do something like that where I'm hauling big parts or like doors for that one, which I also need, you know, hauling big parts or uh, seats uh or just stuff around the house because, you know, sometimes, even though my dad's got a truck, you know, I, sometimes I need a truck too for truck things. So it's, uh, it's still necessary to have a truck. And it was just getting to the point where the Ranger's starting to kind of fall apart. Uh, I haven't taken care of it like I should. And, you know, it, it was it's what I consider my first car. You know, I drove that 2011 CRV for a few months and then totaled it. But it, I kind of shared it with my dad. Um, but the Ranger was the first car that was you know my responsibility so uh it's kind of sentimental to me i've taken it everywhere i've been on a lot of trips in that truck over three years i've put fifty-eight thousand miles on it uh it's been to all 55 counties in west virginia and uh it's been to every surrounding state plus indiana so indiana ohio pennsylvania maryland kentucky and virginia uh, it's been to every one of those states so i kind of can't bring myself to get rid of it unless I absolutely have to but uh anyways I guess that'll be it for this video I just kind of wanted to give an in-depth you know walk around tour of my new to me 2012 CRV so yeah I'm really liking this car so far 
this weekend I'm going to be taking my first kind of long trip in it just a couple hours but uh yeah that'll be it thanks for watching